All right, so I'm going on to talk about the applied anatomy of the Killian's dehiscence. Okay, so um, applied anatomy of the Killian's dehiscence. All right, that's what we'll be talking about today. The question is, discuss the applied anatomy of the Killian dehiscence. You can see that basically Killian's dehiscence is an area, it's a triangular area in um, the region of the pharynx. Okay, and this area is like a triangular. Okay, it's like open. There are muscles going up and muscles going down, right? Thereby forming a triangle, right? But it's still open. So being a soft area, being open, there can be like, what do they call it? There can be like, um, um, let me say, a hynia, all right? Like a diverticulum, all right? So this is it, all right? And when there's a diverticulum, it is called Zenka's diverticulum, all right? So the dehiscence, the Killian's dehiscence, is a site of pharyngeal diverticulum, also known as Zenka's diverticulum, or pharyngoesophageal diverticulum. All right? It's a site of pharyngeal diverticulum, also known as Zenka's diverticulum, or pharyngoesophageal diverticulum. All right? So it is also called gateway of tears, as it is a common site of perforation during eso esophagoscopy. All right, that's like esophagoscopy. That's like you putting in something to observe how the esophagus is inside. All right, so you can actually perforate this place. Okay, and to cause protrusion of some structures inside. All right, thereby forming a diverticulum. Okay, so that's it, guys, uh, about the applied anatomy of Kalian's dehiscence. I hope you guys learned. Quick lecture, though. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.